the James Webb Space Telescope has basically sent Earth a huge caution, and it's moving closer. This cautioning comes from the exoplanet Proxima b. With each new picture sent back, extra requests arise, leaving trained professionals scared. Every depiction from this faraway planet makes us marvel more about the secrets of the universe. It is arising about a developing request. Might there be a potentially hostile planet near Earth? Might there be a connecting outcast planet that has hostile objectives? Could Proxima B ever address a threat to our very existence? The subject of extraterrestrial life has enraptured mankind for many years. However, with current technology like the James Webb Space Telescope, it has turned into a request we can explore more completely than at any other time. Yet, the universe isn't making it easy to track down answers. We continue to use our best instruments, such as the James Webb Telescope, to get brief looks at faraway planets and universes, hoping to find hints that might highlight life beyond Earth. However, we should be realistic. Each new picture and piece of data reminds us of how little we truly know. While these discoveries could be tremendous, they also highlight the vastness and complexity of the universe, leaving us with more questions than answers. Getting a handle on a far-off planet like Proxima b could re-examine our place in the universe. For scientists in space science, this is exciting. However, for the general public, it often feels like just another piece of space news, distant, theoretical, and sometimes overwhelming. These revelations raise more questions than they answer, leading many to wonder how this affects life on Earth. Could Proxima b someday harbor life, or even intelligent life that could one day present a danger to us? Regardless of the immense power of the James Webb Space Telescope, it can show us only so much. Sure, we've learned some incredible things like the fact that we now have stunning new pictures of Proxima b, and we know that the universe is far greater than we ever imagined. But still, what comes next? The possible implications of these discoveries can feel as vast as the universe itself. Proxima b, discovered in 2013 because of its gravitational association with its star, was a significant scientific breakthrough for many scientists. Finding this exoplanet was like discovering a new, large neighbor. Proxima b is just slightly larger than Earth, and it orbits its star every 11.2 Earth days, making it an interesting subject for further study. From a scientific perspective, the possibility of a distant world so near our own is exciting. Yet for many people, it's hard to connect with a place that is 25 light years away. To put that into perspective, even the fastest spacecraft ever built would take many centuries to reach it. Imagine what it might be like to stand on Proxima b. A star, Proxima Centauri, would appear as a faint red light overhead, much cooler and darker than our sun. Proxima b orbits so quickly that a year there lasts just over seven Earth days. One side of the planet always faces the star, meaning it is permanently exposed to light, while the opposite side is cloaked in eternal night. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel, but the reality would be far more extreme. On the bright side of Proxima b, any water would likely boil into steam due to constant exposure to heat, while on the dark side, water would freeze into solid ice. The planet's star, Proxima Centauri, is also not a quiet and steady neighbor like our sun. It throws out dangerous flares and intense radiation, making the surface of Proxima be a hazardous place for life as we know it. This isn't the kind of environment where humans would want to set up camp. Interest in finding life beyond Earth peaked in late 2020 when scientists detected a mysterious signal coming from the Alpha Centauri system, where Proxima Centauri is located. This signal had a remarkable frequency of 982.551 MHz, which caught everyone's attention. Such a signal could theoretically be an indicator of advanced technology. However, it is too soon to make any conclusions. More recently, the James Webb Space Telescope has generated much more excitement by suggesting that Proxima b could have water vapor in its atmosphere. Water, as we know, is a vital component for life, and its presence could be a game-changer. To better understand how much water is present on Proxima b, researchers are using advanced techniques like spectroscopy. This method allows them to identify the gases surrounding the planet, acting as a cutting-edge investigative tool. By analyzing the planet's light spectrum, scientists can detect specific gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, all of which are essential for life. 
atmospheric modeling is another key technique. By creating computer simulations of Proxima B's atmosphere, researchers can make educated guesses about its conditions. These models serve a similar purpose to how scientists use dinosaur fossils to predict what ancient creatures might have looked like. However, the more we learn about Proxima B's atmosphere, the more we are reminded of the remarkable diversity of life that exists here on Earth. Extremophiles, for example, are tiny creatures that can survive in extreme conditions. Boiling underground springs, acidic lakes, and the freezing cold of Antarctica. These hardy organisms demonstrate how life can adapt and thrive in conditions once thought impossible. Could life on Proxima B be just as resilient? The search for life on Proxima B presents enormous challenges, not only in space travel but also in proving that life could exist in such a hostile environment. The planet is bombarded by extreme space radiation, and its atmosphere may not offer much protection. Additionally, the distances involved are immense, meaning new types of propulsion systems are needed to make space travel to Proxima be feasible. Concepts like solar sails, particle drives, and even more theoretical ideas like warp drives offer exciting prospects for future exploration. However, these advancements are still in their early stages and require extensive research before they can be used in real missions. While dreaming of future space travel is exciting, we must remain realistic. Finding life on Proxima B is fraught with technological and scientific challenges. Only by advancing our technology and expanding our understanding can we hope to interpret the universe fully. Might we one day open the full potential of distant worlds like Proxima B? This pursuit isn't just about satisfying curiosity. It's about pushing the limits of human achievement. Could we someday set foot on Proxima B or even make contact with life there? As we consider the long journey to Proxima Centauri, finding aliens no longer feels bound to the realm of science fiction. Rather, it seems like a genuine, tangible possibility. This fascinating shift from a distant dream to a scientific endeavor has attracted serious attention from cutting-edge organizations like Breakthrough Initiatives. These groups are dedicating enormous resources to transforming what would normally be an unfathomably long journey, one that could take centuries with today's technology, into a mission achievable within a few decades. The goal of reaching another star system within a human lifetime has sparked innovation and hope among ordinary scientists. However, these ambitious dreams are quickly tempered by the stark realities of our current technological limitations. Despite striking advancements in space exploration, traveling to Proxima Centauri, even at just 4.2 light years away, still presents enormous challenges. Current propulsion systems are simply not fast or efficient enough to make such a journey feasible within any reasonable time frame. Breakthrough Starshot, one of the most ambitious projects in space exploration, dreams of using powerful laser-driven sails to propel small spacecraft to speeds of up to 20% of the speed of light. While this concept shows promise, it is still in the experimental stage and faces numerous technical and logistical obstacles. For example, it must overcome the dangers posed by space debris and ensure reliable communication over vast distances. The dream of reaching Proxima Centauri and potentially finding alien life is closer to reality than ever before, but it remains grounded by the constraints of current technology. Accelerating a spacecraft to near-light speeds with today's tools feels almost impossible, like trying to solve a difficult puzzle in the dark. Even ambitious projects like Breakthrough Starshot, which aims to launch a probe toward Alpha Centauri using lasers, face significant practical challenges. The Earth's atmosphere causes disturbances for the lasers, making it difficult for space exploration tools to operate with the precision needed. One proposed solution is the use of adaptive optics. Smaller lasers on satellites that continually monitor and adjust for atmospheric disturbances. This system would help ground-based lasers stay focused on the spacecraft as it travels through space. However, the laser propulsion technique requires an enormous amount of energy, equivalent to the total energy consumed by the entire United States, and it would only work for a short time. Imagine setting up 100 million lasers across a vast area just to propel a small spacecraft just 33 feet wide to 20% of the speed of light. At this speed, the spacecraft would still take 22 years to reach the Alpha Centauri system, a time frame longer than many people's lifetimes. Yet the challenge of reaching Alpha Centauri isn't only about overcoming technical obstacles. 
There are also natural barriers to consider. The gravity of the sun, the presence of space junk, and the sheer vastness of the distance involved all pose significant risks. Even communicating with a spacecraft en route to Proxima B would require sending signals across vast stretches of time. It would take about four years for a signal to reach it from Earth. Despite these staggering challenges, the desire to explore other star systems continues to grow. It is driven by humanity's deep-seated urge for discovery and exploration, rather than practical necessity. Even ambitious initiatives like Breakthrough Starshot, which plans to send a probe to Alpha Centauri using lasers, face many practical hurdles. However, overcoming these problems could transform space exploration. Still, the potential risks involved, including communication delays and natural dangers, demand careful planning. Despite the challenges, many scientists believe the rewards far outweigh the risks. Finding life on Proxima B or Another star system would open an entirely new chapter in the story of humankind. But the road ahead is long, and the outcome remains uncertain. As we venture deeper into space, we are not just seeking answers about our own existence. We are also questioning how humanity fits into the grander picture of the universe. Proxima b, along with other exoplanets, represents the growing hope that there is more out there for us to discover. Yet, we must be cautious as we move forward. The pursuit of knowledge must be balanced with a deep responsibility to respect the unknown, especially as we begin to push beyond the limits of our current technological understanding. The challenges ahead are substantial. Even as we work toward developing new propulsion technologies and more advanced space telescopes, we must confront the vastness of space itself. Reaching Proxima b or any other exoplanet in the future will require innovations that we are only beginning to understand and a willingness to accept that the answers may not come as quickly or easily as we hope. The hope of making contact with life, whether microbial or intelligent, in distant star systems like Proxima b is an exciting prospect. It reminds us that we are part of something larger, a universe that is both infinite and full of potential. But as we dream of these far-off worlds, we must also reflect on the fragility of life here on Earth. The more we learn about the universe, the more we realize how unique and precious our planet is. As we explore new frontiers, the ultimate question remains. How can we ensure that the exploration of the cosmos doesn't come at the expense of our own world?